His name is Victor Vernikos and he's singing for Greece. Should we talk about it? Let's, Let's do, do this. Agapimo. Victor's song is what they say, and it's time to hear what y'all have to say about his chances of qualifying from semi-final two. Let me kick this off by saying he is serving Boy Scout, giving us that khaki wilderness explorer shorts. Are those boots? Yes, boots, socks, ready for the wilderness. I think it's a really nice look. It's like age appropriate, like the teenager, like, you know, exploring. And in the song, he's exploring himself, you know, difficult times, what they say, he doesn't care. He's doing his thing. I like, I know y'all are gonna roll your eyes. I like that he's using the digital selfie. This was very 2017, 2018. I remember, I remember in Kiev, Sasha Jean Baptiste, or was it Lisbon? I can't remember. Was putting everybody's face on the background, <laughs> if you recall. It was like this thing. Remember those faces. Yeah, but you know, I think this works actually. Um, the song is very introspective. It's the young man, you know, assessing his life, his situation. So to see him on the screen doing exactly that, it's got a reflexive property, which I really like. I think the indie spirit of this song is actually really mainstream. I know that sounds like a contradiction, but it's very radio friendly. I think he's worked on his enunciation. In this clip, it was more audible. You could tell what he was saying. Whereas in the studio cut, honestly, it took me a few minutes to figure that out. So <laughs> this is a vast improvement. Um, yeah, I, I just think they're striking the right balance between youthful, like, insouciance and kind of professional polish. Mm -hmm. And that can be very hard to do. And that's why I think the outfit was a smart choice. This, this leans youthful. Yeah, yeah Oliver. I'm glad that you mentioned enunciation because my problem with this was diction pre-rehearsals yeah. and he clearly has worked on that. He's, yeah. I think he's actually spoken openly about the changes that he wanted to make, which mm. I always really appreciate that people listen to feedback because yeah. of course we're always coming at this from a perspective as we want an artist to do their best. Yeah. We're not coming in with a critical eye to say, this is terrible, this is terrible. We're saying this could be better. And when an artist actually engages with a fan community or however we view ourselves, you know, that's really good to see. Um, yeah, the fashion is interesting. I actually think it looks a little bit like a Zara catalog. Mm. Like, you know, with, with <laughs> him all on the back, it looks like you're flicking through the pages of, you know, Zara kids yeah. catalog. Um, no, but it, it actually is really fashionable. A little bit Steve Irwin, Robert Irwin, I think, mm. you know, Outback um, kind of, desert jungle camo kind of feeling and yeah I'm, I'm enjoying the stage presence that he's bringing in for somebody so young to be able to move around the stage with such confidence and still nail the vocals very very impressive i also think you know well actually i'm gonna make this comparison because he's the second semi-finalist in semi-final two to be wearing shorts yeah. after Theodore Andre. Um, and we talked, ah, yeah. we talked a little bit about Theodore Andre not really having, or not necessarily him, but that stage show not really having a specific reference point or mm. really understanding the material. But with this, I can see the indie influence. I can yeah. see where he's pulling his ideas from and he's conveying it really well. So yeah, hats off to Greece. Nice, nice, nice. You know, that backdrop with him, you know, with himself, that self, well, this until, you know, until his chest or his head, actually, I like it. I like it really much. But when we see like three or four of him, you know, with the full body, I don't know what's the idea behind that. I, I really want to know that because it, I don't like it that much, but I love the outfit very much. It gives me Angelina Jolie, Jolie in Tomb Raider, you know, that game. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, sorry. Oh, in Bulgarian, it's Tomb Raider. I'm so sorry. Or Jumanji, Jumanji. Yeah. With the, yeah, with the yeah. rock and stuff. Like, he, he's on an adventure in the Amazonia or something like that. And I love his movements here. Oh my gosh, there's a yeah. part, like, he's, like, you know, doing some dramatic movement and, like, very, like, very uh, vigorous. much. Vigorous. Vigorous, like, furious like speaking up and we see like two or three like side stage props which are coming from the from the from the sky from the top i love them too i i really want to see the full performance i think this is going to look incredible i'm just re-watching mm -hmm. it now and the body in motion on the background yeah. again it contributes to the explorer idea you could you could read it as anxiety <laughs> you could read it, it as excitement go ahead 
Dora the Explorer. Exactly. He's dressed like an explorer. Yeah. He's exploring, exploring his emotions. Exactly. I, I, maybe that's reading into the metaphor a little bit, but as soon as Sinan said Tomb Raider, I was like, oh my God, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, I really like this. I think it's paired back. I think so, so often at Eurovision, is, there can be a lot going on, which is one way to do well, but this fits the timbre of the song, the emotional timbre. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. And let's just go around quickly to wrap this video up. Do we think Greece is going through? I'm gonna kick this off with a big fat yes. Obviously, Cyprus is here, so you've got them points. He's also half Danish, so Denmark will likely get behind this as well, mm -hmm. to some extent. And it's a good performance. I think the vocal is there, his energy, his movements are on point. He's got a great sense of body movement, I think. Mm -hmm. It just feels very strong and assertive. You know, there's some passive performers, this is assertive. He wants to do well, and he's laying it all on the table, so this is going through. Yeah, going through, as you said, Cyprus, Denmark. I also think, you know, He's young. Young yeah. people are going to kind of identify mm. with the feelings that he's talking about. And yeah, he's a great vocalist. I see it going through. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. You know, this is this is a televoting system right now. We don't have any juries. If we had juries... Well, that's good for Greece because that yeah. diaspora is strong. Yeah, that's, well, 12 points maybe. Or maybe not. But I don't know. I think Greece will struggle. I really think, like, All right. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Huh? I also, you know, think um, he's going to have an impactful staging. You know, the whole package, you know, the song is not one of my favorites, but with the staging, you know, sometimes, well, often actually, you know, the whole, the whole package changed into, you know, positive, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you saying Cali Spera to Greece and hello to Victor Vernikos in the grand final? Let us know here on WeWe Blogs. Come along to the Lush Lounge. Do we have Victor Vernikos coming? He has confirmed. He will we be do. here. We do. He will be here. So come along, get your selfie, watch him perform. We would love to meet you here in Liverpool. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we are everywhere in the social media platforms and we have something here. Oh my <laughs> gosh, what is it? And it, whether you speak Greek or English, you can read Wild Dances, My Queer and Curious Journey to Eurovision out May 9th, the night of the first semi-final. Pre-order link in description. That's nice. Have you thought to uh, translate this book in The European translation language? rights are actually being discussed now, but we will discuss that later. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.